Hi everyone, it's Kyle with Range Island RV and behind me here is the all new Forester 2401B on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. This floor plan features a full wall slide with a walk around queen bed, U-shaped dinette and a full wardrobe on the back wall coming in at just under 26 feet. Let's check it out. Something really cool with this Forester line is they feature it on the Sprinter Mercedes chassis, giving you a three liter turbo diesel engine, which gives you better fuel economy uh, and more torque if you're towing or driving up in the mountains. But in Forester's line, it's still considered a low profile C, so you're not moving down to the B class motorhomes, which are traditionally more of a van style, single rear wheel. So you are getting the dually in this version. So welcome inside the 2401B. This floor plan is extremely popular because you are getting a full wall slide and it really opens up the floor plan and makes a 26 foot motorhome a lot more spacious. You're getting a full walk around queen bed so you don't have to crawl over each other and a large U-shaped dinette which folds down into a really nice secondary sleeping area or if you're entertaining, there's lots of room for everyone to sit around. Starting in the kitchen here, they really maximize your counter space by giving you a sink cover and the flush glass stove top. They went to a really European style two burner uh, cooktop in here. And then you have a large undermounted stainless steel sink, big enough for dishes, pots and pans, all those large items. And a, re a residential backsplash. Traditionally, you'll see um, beneath the stovetop here, you're gonna have an oven. But uh, Forrester did something different, so they wanna give you more counter space by not putting your micro, or more storage, sorry, but instead of putting your microwave up here, they place it under here, giving you tons more cabinetry above and below in the kitchen area. Welcome to the bedroom here of the 2401B. Features a full walk around queen bed, so it's not a corner bed. Behind me is a full wall wardrobe, so you have tons of hanging storage up top and additional drawers below. Each side of the bed features 12 volts power charging stations and 110 outlets. So if you have a CPAP machine you wanna plug in, there's a perfect spot on this one side. Uh, has a really nice nightstand there. Two windows in your bedroom area here that which open so you can create a nice cross breeze and you have really cool LED reading lights up above with USB chargers built in. The TV um, in the bedroom area, both TVs in the coach are going to be 12 volt power so they work when you're off the grid or driving. For a smaller motorhome they do a really nice bathroom. So behind me here they give you a large shower and they give you a radius uh, shower curtain so it makes it feel like there's more room inside. With a residential faucet and a skylight brings in a lot of natural light into this bathroom. You have a porcelain Dometic toilet below and they give you a nice L shape uh, countertop vanity in here giving you tons of counter space with a sink cover in the bathroom and then you have more storage above and below. Uh, and down on the floor there, there's a motion sensor light. So at nighttime, if you're coming in here, that'll click on just to give you a little bit of light so you can uh, see where you're going. So up here in the dinette area, storage is so important. Uh, so you're gonna have full overhead cabinetry with a really nice big window that still opens. Underneath your dinette has two drawers, full extension, so additional storage down there. And so your back wall there is all your clothes storage and they give you a full built-in pantry which is great for all your kitchen food items up here. Another benefit is this is going to fold down to a really nice sleeping area. So if you're going to, you could fit up to six adults if you guys all really liked each other. So up here in your cockpit you're able to swivel around your captain's chairs giving you an, an entertaining area. So if you have friends over, uh, you're having some appetizers, got the margarita machine going, it's very social, you can have a couple people sitting here. Uh, people sit here. This table is removable, comes in and out. So you can leave it here when you're driving so you can use it when you're facing forward or uh, flip it around and it's a nice little coffee table in the center here. Your overcap sleeping area features a queen mattress. You have two additional windows that open for airflow so whoever's sleeping up here can have a nice breeze. Behind me here is your 12 volt power TV on a swivel bracket. So if you're sitting at the dinette, you can swivel it out and still watch a movie. You have a nice removable ladder uh, that comes on and off and tucks out of the way so it makes for easy access and if you want more flow into your cockpit area this just pops out and tucks way behind there opening up the headroom. Over here we're going to have your one control system from, by LCI. So this is your con main control panel for the coach here. You can also sync it to your phone. So anything you can do on your panel here, like your slide outs, your awning, uh, tank levels, some of your lighting, you can sync it to your phone and do it wirelessly throughout the trailer. 
Above here, you're gonna have your media playing system. So it's Bluetooth streaming, inside outdoor speakers, uh, so you can listen to all your favorite music out by the campfire or here inside. There's a ton of features that go over up here in the cockpit on the Mercedes, so let's just get right to it. Starting, you're gonna have your smart steering wheel, so you can control all your volume, your navigation. You have adaptive cruise control with blind spot monitoring. Uh, this is a telescopic uh, steering wheel, so you can set your adjustments. You're gonna be perfectly comfortable. On the side here, you're gonna have electric, uh, electric adjustment uh, seat with heat, so you can turn it on. Up here in Canada, it does get cold. Uh, you have um, my Mercedes, so it's like a Lexus. How can I help you? Oh, there it goes, turns on there. So you can talk to it, be like, hey, find the nearest campground or find the nearest uh, gas station, and it'll automatically set your GPS there, so it's really more hands-free. You have the larger 10 and a half inch uh, digital touchscreen up here for radio, cell phone, navigation, so you're able to see it, and also your co-pilot, if they're helping you navigate, they can see it as well. Up front here, you have USB charging ports, kind of a cool little area to tuck away your cell phone. Uh, you have additional cup holders up here. Again, these, as we saw previously, these are swivel chairs, which are nice. You're going to the full leather. Push start, push start, so you can leave your keys in your pocket. You don't have to bring them in and out. It's gonna be the diesel chassis, so it's gonna be a lot more fuel efficient uh, for those longer trips. And they have a 5,000 pound towing capacity on this one, so if you wanna bring a smaller car with you, a little cargo trailer, um, heck, even a tent trailer, you have that option. So on the back side here of your coach, you're gonna have your built-in 3,600 watt Cummins Omen generator. This one is propane power, so you're gonna have about 40 pounds of onboard capacity uh, in your built-in propane tank. This is gonna be large enough to run your AC, all your appliances, everything in your coach there. These are your uh, enclosed gate valves. So this one was ordered with the winter package. So all your holding tanks are enclosed, heated, electric heat pads on there, and your gate valves are all enclosed. You have a nice spot for your sewer hose, detachable power cord, cable and satellite hookup, water connection. It does have a black tank flush so you can clean out your tank really easily. And you have a nice spray port on your backside of the coach. If you need to wash your hands, spray off your hose, you're able to do that back here. Quick cor uh, correction from what I said up there. Uh, this one is equipped with a 4,200 pound towing capacity, not the 5,000 that I quoted. But you're gonna have your uh, hitch receivers all set up with your seven-way wiring. So if you just have to install a uh, brake controller, it's just a plug, -in, uh, plug and play system. You have uh, propane quick connect on the backside here of the coach. So if you have a portable barbecue or a little fireplace, you can connect it in and have it out by your campsite there. You have a ladder, uh, full walkable roof. Something they do differently on the roof here is they give you a one piece fiberglass roof compared to uh, like a rubber roof or TPO. Fiberglass is gonna have a lot less maintenance and it's gonna last uh, a really long time. Going with your full body paint on this coach here too, it's gonna be timeless down the road. All the outside storage compartments here on the Forester are gonna be a one piece uh, spun plastic material. So if you ever need to clean this, you can just spray it out at the car wash with the pressure washer. And then there's a low point drain in there will drain it out. So you're able to clean your stuff a lot easier. You have slam latch baggage doors on round on your outside storage area. This one is equipped with another 12 volt outside TV, kind of an outdoor campsite. You have 110 power here below and cable hookup underneath your large awning with your LED light and your speakers built into it. There's a ton of features to cover with this new Mercedes 2401B um, motorhome. We just hit the tip of the iceberg on it. If you guys have any more questions or want to uh, see some more information, please check our website out at rangelandrv.com. You can reach out to me personally at kyle at rangelandrv.com. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comment section and happy camping.